hello beautiful family welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us what you can do if you are struggling you work hard and you have nothing to show for it you pray and it looks as if god is not answering you like i always say god is still in the business of blessing people god is still in the business of changing people's story god is still in the business of answering our prayers no matter how sinful we are but most of you don't want miracles you want magic yes magic may not take time so magic uh, is panther but it doesn't last long and that is why some places that they perform magic you will go there receive your healing before you leave the premises you are sick again but when you receive miracle from God, it lasts forever. And that is why you see people that have involved themselves in money rituals, they have limited time to live because they believe in magic. They need everything fast. And when they get that money, you see them spending it because they know that their time on earth is not bad. But when God blesses you, they say the blessings of God added no sorrow. When God blesses you, oh God of mercy, you will live to enjoy that wealth. You will enjoy that wealth with good health, with everything, every, with your complete body. Not one part of your body will be decaying. Not your parents dying because you have used them for money rituals. Not your children dying. Not your children being mad. But when God blesses you, you will enjoy that money enjoy that wealth in good health in happiness okay that is the difference between magic and miracle like some of you will come and tell me please social empire i am this once you use that word i am desperate i will tell you i don't attend to desperate people because you won't even give me time to tell you what to do because you are desperate and anything i tell you to do at that moment you are not ready to do it because you want magic i am not a magician I'm a spiritualist. So spiritual things take time, but once it clicks, believe me, the devil cannot change it again. But magic, one hand it will click, the next minute it is gone. It has vanished. So I want to share with us what you can do to attract miracles in your life. Everlasting joy, everlasting miracle, everlasting prosperity. So that once your door opens, no man, no woman can shut it down. Even when they gather, so then they will start going from one place to another, asking people, what is the source of your income? I don't know whether you have experienced that. Because the way God will bless you, oh God, people will start saying all manner of things with your name. One of my uncles that God blessed, as in his blessing is something that everybody is happy and some people say maybe he's into drug he's doing yahoo they have even invited efcc more than two times they couldn't trace anything because he made clean money okay so let that be your portion you are going to make clean money that they will invite the government to come and investigate you and when they come they will not see anything rather the government will apologize for invading your privacy for the humiliation and the insults. So what is that thing you need to do to attract abundance into your life? To make your enemies to be speechless, to make them to be, you know, going from one place to another, asking them, asking people to tell them how come you became rich because all their plans towards you did not work. They have gone to so many shrines, dropped your name, so many evil authors dropped your name, and you're still watching strong. If you have one million today, the next day you are going to have ten million. It will shock them. There is a the kind of money you will have that the devil cannot bring you down. Village people, this thing they say that village people are evil. There is a the kind of money you will make. These village people cannot assess you. They can't even trace. They can't even see in the mirror because God has blessed you beyond their imagination. They will just leave you and start looking for another victim. I don't want to start mentioning them that people of the people that God has blessed that the enemy cannot bring them down. 
Even if they gather the whole village, which is in their village, they can't bring them down because God has made them an odogu of their time. May that be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So what you need to do is to get your bare leaf. When you get your bare leaf, write your name. Um, you are going to use seven leaves of this bare leaf. Okay? Seven. Write your name on each of them with your date of birth. But if you don't know your, uh, your date of birth, just write your full name. Your full name. My name is Ugo Chuchoma. Write your full name on seven leaves of bare leaves, different leaves. Okay? So after writing it, what you will do, every morning you bring that one. You're going to do this assignment for seven days. You can write the names today. Use red marker or uh, red pen or green pen or green marker. Do not use black. You can use blue, you can use red, you can use green. Write your name. Then every morning you bring it out and begin to pray. Say, God Almighty, I have come again today to appreciate you and to remind you to bless me the way you blessed Abraham, the way you blessed other kings in the Bible, the way you blessed, you make sure if you have rich people around you that you want to tap from their blessing, Go ahead, but make sure that their money are clean. The money they are, you are tapping is clean. Don't go and tap ritualist money. Unless you want to go and kill somebody to make money. Say God to bless you that people in your community will recognize you. That some of you, they don't call you for village meeting again because you are poor. Even family meeting, your brothers will not tell you. Your sister will not tell you. Once they finish the meeting, you might even hear it from somebody's mouth that there was a meeting. Because you are nobody. God will make you an odogu in your family that before they take any decision, they must call you, no matter your age. Okay? If you are not there, if you do not sanction that meeting, they will not sit. There are people like that. May God make you one of such people in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I say amen to that prayer. So every morning you pray and remind God of his promises. Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and you shall receive. Tell God that you have come to ask for his blessings, for his abundance. The bear leaf is very powerful to attract abundance. And that is why you're using it. We can read Psalm 23 each morning when you bring this bear leaf. After saying your prayers, calling on, upon God Almighty, calling on the universe to bless you. So that any blessing that God has released on the universe today, may it get to your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. After that, you light this bear leaf. Allow it to burn down the ashes, go outside and blow it. Or if you don't cannot blow it outside, pour it in your bathing water and use it to take your bath. This should be done before speaking to anybody. The next day you repeat the same thing for seven days. Believe me, before seven days, you will see the glory of God in your life. That abundance, that money you have been praying for years to come, you will see it coming. Doors will begin to open. People that forgot you will start remembering you. So try this assignment and see how God will change your story for good. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.